our first security related command. We had a discussion right before the show on whether it was or wasn't security related. I use a ton when I do cyber competitions. Specifically, it's called strings. And what it does is you run it against a compiled binary and it pulls out the strings that are left in the compiled binary. If we were to look at this command, it's just like weird binary junk, but you can see there's actually some text in there too, like this lib64 LD reference. That's probably an include in the source code. When the compiler compiled it, it left this word out because it's a reference to a file that has to be retrieved by the binary application. Generally, instructions get compiled into VitCode, but text strings just stay as text, which is what strings right. is all about. Right. And so like arguments passed to system calls or functions are often left as text in the compiled code. This is really useful from a cyber competition perspective. There will be a task of what IP address does this application send data to? And one way that you could solve for that is you could run the application and then use tools like Wireshark to capture the packet data and identify that application's packet data to figure out what IP address it's corresponding to. Suggesting I shouldn't run the suspicious. I would recommend against <laughs> running suspicious programs. Like connecting to a remote host, you have to pass the IP address of the remote host you're trying to connect to. That is often kept as a bare string inside right. of the compiled application. I use strings a lot for answering those questions because I can just run strings. You can see all the words that are in the compiled binary. Some of it's kind of goopy, but yep. you get further, you get to see some stuff that's- Inet. Right. These are like things you'll see in the output of this particular command. And so I just look for the thing that's an IP address and then I put that in as my answer. More likely than not, that's the correct answer. It's a really, short way of retrieving that data to then submit in the cyber competition. Strings, take all the stuff that's left as bare text in your compiled binary and just show it to me without all the binary yep. goop with it instead. It's worth mentioning, this isn't foolproof. This data can be obfuscated. If someone who wrote the application really does not want you to find out where it's connecting to, they could have logic in the program that would encode and decode that string. And then you'd instead see a string that's a bunch of garbage that looks encoded in some way. Not always foolproof, but most people don't go to that length. Right. Well, because they have to edit that code later. So if they're running it as hex, they have to figure out what hex right. thing they need to put in if they need to update right. it later. Just for convenience, that's usually not how people will write their application because they have to maintain that application right. over time, just like any other software developer. Personally, I like to make code that's as difficult to read as possible so that later I can't change it. That's why I started with Perl. That explains so much about how you work, Nate. <laughs> All right. So that was a super short critical path today, right? One command, you could try it. It's really easy to run. You can pipe it into grep if you want to look for specific content in that compiled binary. So don't forget to mash that like and subscribe. Nate, what else are we going to cover today? 